G'day legends. Well today, gin explorer Diane is going to show you how she makes dog food for our Border Collies. This will be something a little bit different and it's actually pretty handy because it makes it very inexpensive and very healthy for the dogs. Yep, so we just got some um, cauliflower and broccoli that we weren't going to use and we froze it and chopped it up already. We just throw it in there. It was actually just the outside of the cauliflower, so it wasn't anything technical. It was something we can't eat. But uh, probably I should first start with this. So what we do is I use 13 litres, uh, 13 cups of water. So that's eight. And I'll get another five. Everything else was just in the fridge. You know, when stuff goes a bit old, we put it in the freezer, like some snow peas there, the sweet potato. We've always got a big bag of carrots. So we also had a big bag of beans. It was on special for about, I think it was $3 for a whole kilo of beans. I mean, we've eaten a fair few of them. Anyway, so that was 13 cups of water. As Māori rice, I use brown rice. One kilo. Um, yeah, it is one kilo. Just empty it into there. Put it on the stove and I get it boiling. And so while I wait for that to boil, I just chop up my vegetables. And once that's boiling, and I've let it boil for normally 10 minutes, then I throw my vegetables and I just let it cook until the water pretty much absorbs and it's a drier mix. Okay, so we've got a bit of pumpkin here, sweet potato, carrots. Uh, that's some snow peas and stuff. And what I do is I just sort of roughly, roughly chop it. Um, into sizes that we're going to cook because I cook it for normally about 45 minutes so it's just we're not sure what other people have in their area but we have a fruit shed up the road and pretty much the sweet potato sells for a dollar a kilo the bag of carrots is about two dollars for a kilo. The rice they sold there as well, which was only two dollars for a bag of brown rice. <clears throat> the snow peas were also on special the other day when I bought them. They were four dollars for half a kilo. And the pumpkin, it was in bulk for a whole pumpkin. It was like a dollar twenty a kilo. So as you can see, it's a very inexpensive way to feed your dogs and also yourselves, to be, to be honest. Oh, well, I don't know if I'd want to eat the dog food. Not but... this. We, we, had, <laughs> we, had the, we had the vegetables before. Oh, yeah, if you roast the vegetables, yeah. Because, yeah, it's all, it's all fresh stuff. So, And then we give our dogs a mixture. Not everybody's dogs can eat this. I know some my friend says her dog's allergic to raw meat. But we give our dogs uh, raw meat. And they, they are thriving on this healthy diet. It's kangaroo mince, raw kangaroo mince. And we keep it raw, we don't cook it. And I just add it as a, on the side, so we mix this all together. You can buy chicken mince, you can buy any other meat with it. We do recommend it. You probably, depending on your dog, you do actually give it some protein. You don't want to have any vegan border collies running around. <laughs> that won't do very long. <laughs> These have all been frozen, so if you got them in your fridge and you're not going to eat them because you think they're going to go off, we, they freeze really well and you can just bring them out and throw them into your, your, thing, your dog bowl of food. If you get home late one night and you had too many drinks, you, know, you, you can eat this food as well. <laughs> it's not like it's unedible for humans. It's, well, it is all human quality stuff. Yeah, There's it's nothing... all cooked properly and frozen. It... <laughs> I... <laughs> You'd have to be really drunk, though. <laughs> Come on. Our kids eat McDonald's, that's worse. <laughs> True. <sighs> Disgusting stuff. Yeah. 
as you can see. So basically this... We try and fill that bowl up there, basically, you know. It's a good bowl we use and it seems to, once that's stacked full, we know it's enough to go, not too much to go in the pot. And it's, it also, because um, we portion it out for the dogs as well, um, and, I, and what happens is we freeze it. And I normally make about 15, it always seems to be an uneven number, 15 um, bo uh, bags of food. Because Harry has 400 grams and Shiraz has 300 grams plus. It's a bag a day, so you're pretty much doing your food for a whole week. So you're going to have to do this once a week. And yeah, and the bags are freeze. I don't put them all in the, in the fridge. The rough cost would be about $5. So you're feeding your dog for two dogs for less than a dollar a day, plus your protein, which works out about uh, $2.50 for two dogs a day. So inexpensive cooking for dog, and it's healthy, healthier than anything you can buy. Oh, it's healthier than, the, than that awful canned stuff, yuck. And dogs have never had canned food. No, no. Hello again, and if I could just take a few seconds of your time just to ask you if you could please subscribe to our channel. It really be appreciated and it helps us in ways that you can't imagine. And also like our movies and also leave a few comments. We'd like to hear what you actually think of what we're doing. Thank you, and like I said, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, so I just went out into my garden and I just come pick some mint some rosemary, some basil, and some parsley. I've, people have say don't put parsley in the dog's food. Um, other people say it's fine. I use it, we don't have any problems. So I don't know, I, this is what we use. You, everyone's gonna use their own stuff. And then I chop it up and I add it towards the end of the dog's food. I don't add it now. I wait till it's, um, it's almost cooked and then I stir it through because obviously you don't you can't use salt or any other flavorings and I just think this is a nice flavoring and they say mince meat to make dogs breasts smell nice anyway our dogs don't have smelly breasts so that's good so after I've boiled my brown rice for five minutes I then throw in my vegetables carefully as carefully as I can because it normally splashes everywhere Very careful there, Di. Disclaimer. <laughs> Be a lot more careful with your <laughs> hot water. Okay, that will actually boil down. Because that is one big pot. <laughs> So we just put the lid on there and let that steam down a little bit and once it drops down, probably a 10, 15%. Okay, so what's happened is we've let it come to boil again and I've got one and a half tablespoons of turmeric and I just throw that in and I just give it a bit of a, a gentle mix through. So it actually will make the dog food, give it a sort of an orangey color because they say turmeric's meant to be good for dogs and humans. So anyway, it's what we do. And then I um, then move it over to a smaller burner and I put it on the lowest heat it will possibly go. And then I just time it for half an hour, but I do stir it about every 10 minutes to make sure that the water is sort of evaporating and that it doesn't catch on the bottom. Okay, so it's just a little under half an hour and it's come down to this consistency where all the water has pretty much evaporated or been absorbed. Um, it's still kind of like a wet mixture. And now this is just when I throw in my, um, my herbs and then you just got to try and mix it through. It's not that easy, but um, yeah, I just mix it through and then ba basically I let it just sit until it gets really cool. And then later on this evening, I will portion it out into, um, into freezer bags so that I can put some in the fridge and freeze the rest. Because my male, Harry, he gets 400 grams and, um, of this stuff. 
and the female I give her 300 grams which is every dog will be different depending on your dog size but that's what works best for our dogs okay so this is the consistency it kind of looks like after it's been sitting for a few hours just to get cool before you bag it up it's that kind of consistency looks like a biryani and um <laughs> yeah and actually i did taste some and it actually doesn't taste that bad <laughs> hmm. well obviously our dogs aren't vegan so we do mix it up with this uh Chunky pet mints, uh, available from most supermarkets. This is a kangaroo, about 90% kangaroo and chicken blend. So it goes in with the, about 300 grams for the female dog and about 500 grams for Harry, the male dog. The test of every good meal is in the tasting. Harry! So he just can't wait to get into this, so okay. So yep, they like it.